Hi guys, this is Nitin Nagpal. I'm the director of product at uh, Rubrik and Radha. Hey Nitin, thanks for actually inviting me here. This is um, Radha Manga. I run the solutions engineering team at Pure. So uh, today we are going to talk about how uh, Rubrik actually protect uh, the NAS shares running on Flash Blade. But before we jump into Flash Blade protection, rather, do you want to talk about the use cases and the capabilities that Flash Blade has today? Flash Blade is a product that we have designed to address the use cases for unstructured data. It ranges anywhere from IoT, and um, you can also put actually traditional data warehouses on it. Mm. We can put actually machine learning data. We can put actually deep learning. And um, it can actually um, be a repository for any unstructured data. What's the maximum size you guys typically see yes. on FlashBlade? So today the FlashBlade ships in a 4U capability. In 4U, this is the device you see here, the individual bars you see, we support up to 15 blades. The blades come in three different capabilities. Uh, we support 8 terabytes, 17 terabytes, and 52 terabytes blades. And we actually natively support data reduction, that is compressibility, on the flash blade. So on a, on a normally, we actually get anywhere from three to one data reduction on the flash blade, which on a 52 terabyte, 15 blade system, gives you a usability of almost more than one petabyte, usable capacity of more than one petabyte. That's impressive. Yep. Yeah. Nitin, can you just introduce your product? Sure, yeah. So Rubrik has developed a native NAS protection capability. What it does is it actually uh, creates a NAS share directly mounted from FlashBlade onto Rubrik cluster. So once it's mounted, Rubrik can actually do a full file granular backup, so or file set granular backup, can do a recovery from any point in time, and do fully automated API-based uh, protection. What it means is like all your all a user has to do is just mount the uh, NAS share from FlashBlade onto Rubrik, and once it's mounted, we do the full backup, replication, and archival of uh, those NAS share from Rubrik cluster to another Rubrik cluster using replication technology and also archival to the cloud as well. So what are the features that are unique to a Rubrik? That's a good question, uh, Radha. Uh, one thing which I would actually call out is uh, whenever we actually protect the data or uh, NAS share on Rubrik, they are all in native format. Mm -hmm. So you have the full recoverability of uh, files directly from Rubrik in a native file format which was stored on us. And then secondly, it's mostly, it, it's always true incremental. So w after the first full backup is done, any new backups are always incremental, which reduces the overall total capacity you need on the Rubrik cluster, yeah. as well as improves improves the performance of the uh, cluster uh, or, or the backup of your NAS shares as well. Hey, Nitin, can you please comment about um, the restore capabilities? Can you back up to your Rubrik appliance and can restore the data to onto a different NAS device if you want? That is true. So natively, uh, once Rubrik cluster actually has saved the data or protected data, data from uh, FlashBlade, we can have our Rubrik cluster connected to another NAS device, which is, say, a cheap... Uh, uh, disk storage, and actually uh, recover to another NAS device from FlashBlade. So one side, it can be a so FlashBlade can be the source for our, our data protection. Rubrik cluster sits here, and then actually protect it, protects it onto a, another NAS device, or restore on the another NAS device as well. I think that'll come very handy for some of our customers who have to store ages and years and years worth of data, where they can actually archive it to a cheaper data storage system for basically compliance reasons. Radha, so why, why don't you talk about the performance testing and the qualification you had done with uh, Rubrik yeah. and FlashBlade? Sure, actually, I'm more than happy to share those details. We, in fact, have one of your bricks, which is a four-node system in our lab, and we have over 2 million files, actually distributed across just four volumes. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, um, we have a FlashBlade, which has, which has those four volumes, and this is a flash blade system, and we mounted those four volumes onto uh, Rubrik um, and actually tried backing it up. We were able to achieve roughly 150 to 200 megabytes per second. It's bytes, not bits, per second per actually the node. So, so we were able break, to total achieve yeah. roughly 600 to 800 megabytes per second with one brick we had. I know actually your system scales linearly. Yes. By adding more and more bricks, we can actually drive more backup bandwidth. By the way, the flash blade can actually drive 16 gigabytes per second. 
So. Yeah, so flat page is meant for much higher performance from, exactly. the, from the front end perspective, but we can achieve up to 800 Mbps in the back end with just one brick, and yes. you can keep on scaling up, right, exactly. or scaling out. Mm -hmm. So uh, can you comment also about the NDMP? Uh, so you know we don't use NDMP. What's your take on it? So NDMP is uh, kind of a 20-year-old technology. There yeah, is nothing wrong is. about it. Some of our customers keep asking. Um, we, we do not have that feature in Flashblade today. Um, but we have actually other better, better approaches with Rubrik and yep. other, other other solutions like this. So we will build it if and when we need. The problem with uh, NDMP traditionally has been it is a proprietary yep. backup format. Yep. It only defined the control logic and it left to the disk vendors how they actually store it, the store the backup. So most of them chose to store it in a format that is not open. That mm -hmm. means only that particular disk vendor, actually array vendor can only read it back. So Radha, do you want to talk about what's future for uh, FlashBlade, especially in terms of the APIs and replication? Sure, actually, Pure is uh, built on the principle of API-first methodology. Mm -hmm. So whatever we do in our products, we try to expose them through APIs. The APIs for FlashBlade are coming very soon, and the other key features like snapshots are also coming very soon. That's so if and when we have the APIs for snapshots, actually you guys can do a much better integration where you can leverage the snapshot feature of FlashBlade and yes. actually get a quick uh, application consistent copy and then start backing it up onto your actually rubric plans. Yeah, I'll add one more thing though, uh, which I've heard from some of our customers, that uh, in the interim when you don't have replication, we can actually use rubric cluster to replicate from two to two sites and potentially use uh, uh, on the primary, on the secondary side, have a rubric cluster and a flash blade to uh, fill the gap for replication as well. I can tell one thing. I think with the 20 years of experience I have in the industry, customers always innovate much quicker than That's us. That's true. You That's give true. them two good products and they can actually do miracles with them. Uh, so rather, let's summarize for our customers on how it's going to work. Uh, so uh, with Rubrik and FlashBlade together, we can protect any NAS share running on FlashBlade, directly mount onto a Rubrik, protect it, replicate it, archive it to any cloud or another NAS uh, device or any target. So with that, Radha, you want to have any closing comments? Yeah, I think you pretty much summarized it well. I think if you want to find more details, just uh, check us either of our websites.